Today on Logan Lee Adventures, let's explore San Telmo, which is a bohemian neighborhood in Buenos Aires that dates back to the 18th century. We'll explore markets, eat one of the best steaks I've ever had in my life, and soak up in this art-filled barrio. Morning, friends. I love these brisk early mornings in Buenos Aires autumn. And then today, we're gonna be exploring another neighborhood. This is actually my first time ever being in this neighborhood because it's a little, because I'm a little bit north of the city in Palermo. And then this neighborhood is southeast called San Telmo. And San Telmo is one of the most oldest neighborhoods in the city, as well as the most emblematic neighborhood. So here has a very rich bohemian vibe to the neighborhood for because of its antique shops, its pop-up galleries, different little cafes, and it really retains a lot of the history that it was built from. So it has co like cobblestone streets everywhere and a lot of old style mansions and architecture so i'm really excited to explore and we're going to start off right here in plaza do regio and plaza do regio is well yeah the plaza um but it's one of the prime plaza of san Telmo. of course i always love playing this game paris or buenos aires paris or buenos aires where are we in i mean you already know from the from the whole vlog in my journey so far, but if you drop me in the middle of the city without me knowing, I'll be like, uh, where am I? Is this Paris or Buenos Aires? I literally feel like I can get lost in these cobblestone streets for days. Just there's so much to stare up and look at. My eyes are like jotting around all the time. Look at this stunning mural just off the street. And then it just wraps the whole thing just wraps around like this neighborhood is so cool. Absolutely love just walking in Buenos Aires because the city is flat, so it makes it even easier to just walk. And the blocks are kind of short, so you just next thing you know, you're like 20 blocks down, and you're in a completely different neighborhood. <laughs> but there's just so much to explore and so much to see because it's just it really feels like this is one of the most cosmopolitan cities in Latin America. I think you can see how San Telmo is full of charm and personality, how it's filled with narrow cobblestone streets and low-story colonial houses. This is actually where some of the first homes were built in the early years of the colony, and these elaborate mansions later become what is called conventillos, basically tenement housing for European immigrants. And amid the melancholy of homesickness and the merging musical traditions and the shared patios of these conventilos, tango music was born. 
I love how there's so many colorful murals everywhere in this neighborhood. Santamo! I'm really excited for this one. Mercado Santelmo. <laughs> See what goodies are in here. We're now in the diamond of Santelmo. So basically, Santelmo Market is the jewel of this neighborhood all right it's built in this eiffelesque inspired way and is bustling with thrift shops gastronomy art this is the heart of the neighborhood just like the square and you have to check it out As the crown of the neighborhood, we just have to pop around and see all the goodies here. Occupying an entire city block, this striking marketplace was built in 1897 by Juan Antonio Buscazzo, the Italian-born Argentinian architect. The wrought iron interior that we are in makes it one of the city's most atmospheric markets. Local shops for meats and produce are here and you can come for the coffee and just browse like me and go through all the old Tangle records. This is like the most creepy, frightening store ever in the middle of Santelmo Mercado. Uh, <laughs> to eat I am starving with the abundance amount of stalls in the Mercado it's kind of hard to choose but I'm gonna go with the classic because I mean when you're here why not and I'm at the Churi Paneria for a Churi band so I just pop myself by the bar just bar seats in the middle of the market and get myself a Churi band My cherry pan. So cherry pan is literally what it sounds like. It's a chorizo in between a pan, which is like this type of like baguette type sandwich. And it's pop is so popular in Argentina and around Latin America as well. And that such a thick piece. Pop. Wait. Oh, let me get ready. Let me get ready. <laughs> Juicy. The pan has a nice crunch to it. The chorizo, oh my god. Continuing my question of is this Buenos Aires or is this Paris? We got some murals of some legends here. Biggie. We also got Tupac. And then on this side, we got David Bowie. Ah! Go 
gorgeous, gorgeous houses. And right behind me is the thinnest house in Buenos Aires, in the whole city. So there's actually a really cool story behind this. It's called Casa Minima. And basically this thin house was given this lot, this like thin, tiny lot was given to a free slave. And this is what they built. walking the streets of Buenos Aires and Santamo. These buildings are gorgeous. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is me. But this is also me. But this is me too. No. I just realized something is so cool. It's the Windows Paint program. How awesome is that? And then this huge mural, huge mural is made from the Windows Paint program. I remember playing this when I was like a little kid and then you just select the colors, select your tools, and I just scribble. This magical place in San Telmo is called Solar de French. As you can see, it's sunny Solar de French with this French vibes. I love the colorful umbrellas here, everywhere. And then these little, these little nooks of red and white with the plants as well. And then all around are little antique shops, jewelry. So cute. Alice in Wonderland. That's how I feel right now. Alice in Wonderland. Little romantic corners everywhere. I'm telling you, this is a city where you gotta always look up, look side to side, look all around you because there's just so much beauty and details everywhere. into the world of Atis Bar. The old world, that is. First, at the entrance, you're greeted by these statues with the lamp, then you go up these grand stairs. So, I learned from one of the servers here that Atis Bar was originally built in 1890 and was used to be the convent of Santa Maria de la Salud nuns with small rooms and just really wide spaces. And San Talmo gradually transformed Formed, and then the convent became a residence for immigrants. Absolutely a world in of itself. It's hosted in this old house in the middle of the city. And I just love all the ivies here and then the checkered tiled floors. And over the years, the place has acquired new uses. I didn't know that it was used to be a hotel and then an artisan fair. And then since the end of 2020, really recently, it's now this bar and restaurant. At the beginning, this place only worked on the ground floor, but due to the success of the place, I mean, you can see why, they expanded into this terrace which stands out for a variety of more than 500 plants. And then this large space just gives this local distinctive feature with the colors that stay in the open spaces, varying with different seasons throughout the year. And the name of this place, Attis, is actually no coincidence since Attis refers to the son of a Greek goddess related to vegetation. 
exploring bar at this is <laughs> incredible. Like literally, you come in thinking it's just a cafe, a bar, but it's just so much more than that because of this house, this old house that is well preserved and is hosted in. You look at this fireplace. And then these windows. Wow. Everything just feels so grand, yet so historic. And there's like a step back in time here. This wee bathtub that you can sit by also has little goldfishes in it. I think they're goldfish. No, they're too big to be goldfish. <laughs> but fishes. Early mornings and the market is already popping. Okay, so here you can get all of the from what it looks like your fish, chicken, basically like really great fresh goods. All these eggs here. So when I say San Telmo is known for antiques, they don't play in this neighborhood. There's antique markets, there's so many antique little boutiques as well. This one is a huge market. You can go check it out. Where you see some really cool posters. Old Tango, some shots of old Buenos Aires. So cool. This market is a labyrinth of antiques. Just beautiful polo paint. I want that. I want to bring that home so bad. Cannot fit in my suitcase. Cannot ship it. It's too expensive from South America all the way to Europe. I'm obsessed. And all these beautiful chandeliers too. Oh my. Look up there. That gorgeous mirror frame. I'm at this such a cool restaurant called La Brigada. It's known for their barbecues, which is what Argentina is also is known for. But what also Argentina is also known for that's you know mad with is football. And as you can see, this restaurant is decked out in football theme. It's also signed on the walls. There's just so much to look at. Absolutely love the vibe. And look at that old cashier. So cool here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's go. Perfecto. My steak is here and there was such a cool presentation. I didn't even expect it that. And literally with a spoon. Like you just cut it with a spoon. That was pretty cool. I think that was pretty cool. All right, so this looks like such a good piece. Look how runny, oh yes. That is like so succulent. It's it's almost like how do I describe like butter melting in my mouth, like the fattiness of it. But at the same time, the meat. This is meat. It is so yummy. I am stuffed. I literally sat here for two hours by myself indulging, enjoying, just being fed in the most heavenly, pleasant way. Goodness. Ah. That's two hours of just tasting. Ah. You know they're serious wine drinkers when the bottles are this big. <laughs> Wall to wall to wall, jersey sign, flags, trophy case, everything. After Plaza de Mayo, which we explored in my previous vlog, we loop back to Plaza Dorego, which is the city's oldest plaza. Dating back to the 18th century, it was originally a pit stop for caravans, bringing supplies into the city from Pampas. Now, it's just a lively square surrounded by colonial buildings and old world cafe bars. And it's really the heart of San Telmo's, especially known for the famous Sunday street market where we're strolling through it right now. This market is so vibrant. You can see how it goes on and on with different trinkets that you can get, different artisanal goods. Of course, live tango shows in the square. It's just so fun and live music in different corners too. Oh my gosh, San Telmo. Especially on the weekends right now, it's just bursting. Now to fuel all the art, on top of art, we're going to the Makba in 
Sundown Mall. The Museum of Contemporary Arts in Buenos Aires stands in the heart of the historic center of San Telmo. Mixed all the artwork just pop against the concrete. Makba considers its collection as the social capital that accounts for the appreciation that Argentine collecting historically had and still has for international art. The public exhibition of this collection that is hosted in this just such beautiful building enhances the cosmopolitan character that Buenos Aires displays from its colonial roots that you can really see in San Telmo. That sums up my adventures in San Telmo. Leave me a comment below about what you enjoyed about this lively neighborhood the most. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because we'll be exploring more of Buenos Aires in the next adventure.